Hi, this is another follow-up video about my bare metal Commodore emulator projects. This time I'll be demonstrating some of the features of BMC 128. One of the advantages of being able to compile Raspberry Pi kernel images from Vice and Circle is that I can make images for other Commodore machines. So I did some work not too long ago to add the Commodore 128 to the list of bare metal options. It's a separate kernel, so you can't easily switch between models right now, but that's something I plan on making possible later. For the most part, the interface is the same, but I'll point out some features you probably won't find on other Vice builds. So here's the C128 after booting. Uh, the C128 was an interesting machine since it had two video chips. It had a VIC-2 chip, just like the C64, but it also had a VDC chip, which produced an 80-column display. And on the keyboard, there was a 40-80-column uh, toggle key. Um, so let me just bring up the uh, status bar here. You'll notice in the bottom right corner there is an indicator telling you that the 4080 column key is set to 40 columns right now and I have a hotkey defined to toggle that so let me hit that. Okay so now it's 80 um, and now I'll just reset the machine. So let's go to the M, M menu, reset Okay, so this is exactly what you would see if you had only a 40 column composite monitor hooked up to the machine. But let me go into the menu and show you that under the video menu, there's something you would find uh, unique to BMC 128. And that is the active display. So let me just change that to VDC, go back, and we can see that, yes, indeed, it did boot into the 80 column mode. Um, when I was implementing support for the C128, I wanted to make sure that you could view both displays at once. So there are two more options in that menu. Uh, let me just go to the side-by-side -side option. So now we have both 40-column uh, and 80-column screens visible at the same time. And for those who remember the 128, you can turn on a fast mode, which changes the machine's clock to be uh, 2 megahertz but uh, the 40 column display will blank out and you can go back to slow mode and I can SYS 49194 to switch over to the 40 column mode and then 49194 to switch back um, and I'll go back to the menu uh, for another video option which is the picture in picture mode and uh, this is um, Similar to what you might get on a TV, you get one display that's full screen and then a tiny window and in that position can be bottom right, uh, top left, etc. Um, and you can also swap them so that one becomes small while the other becomes big. On the desktop uh, windows or uh, Linux build of Vice, obviously you'd have more than one window so you can see both displays at the same time. But this might be a first for um, the Raspberry Pi uh, Commodore 128 emulator options. Also worth mentioning is that each display has uh, its own independent controls for things like aspect ratio, color controls, border trim, so I can change the aspect ratio of the 80 column display independent of the uh, the 40 column display. Um, and that helps, uh, you know, so you can get exactly the right look, uh, especially on a composite uh, out that you want. So great game to try on BMC 128 is Super Mario Brothers, so let me just uh, turn it back to full screen Vic and load up a cartridge here. Super Mario Brothers, so you can see that when you launch Super Mario Brothers it detects that you're running on a Commodore 128 even though it's booted into 64 mode, but it takes advantage of uh, what, what it calls turbo mode and uh, what that's doing is during the vertical blanking interval of the VIC display it temporarily enters the fast mode so you get less of a slowdown in certain spots. You'll notice that if you play on the 64, on stock 64, there are certain points in the game where it doesn't quite keep up the frames per second that it, it, can't, it wants to. But on the 128 it's a little bit better because it's, um, it's able to squeeze in more, uh, more computing um, in the same amount of time. So the second reason you might want to try Super Mario Brothers on BMC 128 is that you can configure your gamepad to use uh, one of your buttons uh, as the pot X or second joystick button. So a lot of 64 games would actually support 
um, a second joystick button and they usually use the analog input pin of the joystick port. So if I go into the menu here, you can see that I have my gamepad configured so that button 8 says pot X and below you'll find that you can set the analog values of what it means for pot X to be up or down and the, the, the values here will work just fine with Super Mario Brothers and um, that way you can have uh, the button jump instead of having to press up so let me just launch the game here and uh, so I can hold down one button and then here I'm just in, instead of pressing up I'm able to use the button which feels more comfortable because that's the way it was on the original Nintendo um, and it's a more I don't know, authentic feel to me anyway, uh, especially if you want to do a speed run. You can just hold to the right and uh, and jump. Oh, Anyway, uh, so that's pretty much it as far as uh, extras go for BMC 128. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you next time.